Well, good to get a chance to visit with y'all again. We're on day 16 of our 45 days through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, <laughs> managed to find myself in the house by the fire this morning. A little bit chilly here, but that's all right. It's a good time to catch up on our reading. Um, if you've got the book, God With Us, we're in pages 79 to 81. Um, if you're following on your readings, I put in the comments here the the actual sections of Matthew, Mark, and Luke that we're in today. But in this reading, what stood out to me specifically was the story of the healing of the centurion's servant. You know that story where he had, um, came to Jesus and said, look, my, my servant is sick. Could you heal him? And he's like, look, you're not worthy to come to my house, Jesus. Just say the word and he'll be healed. And it's a wonderful story about the uh, about the compassion and the authority of Christ. But one thing that's kind of said so when you begin to read everything in order and looking at it here is that this is following after the um, the Sermon on the Mount. So many people are following Jesus for, for healing and, and seeing what he can do. But we read the story today. We're in Matthew chapter 8 and in Luke chapter 7. And if you look in there on this story, there's a little bit of a difference. One says that the centurion came to Jesus, and the other tells that the centurion sent his servants to Jesus, and that all of the correspondence back and forth between the centurion and Jesus were done through his through his servants or through his friends, and one says through some of the Jewish elders, actually. So this centurion knew that Jesus had such power that he could <laughs> he could follow, work through as an emissary. He didn't even have to speak the words to him. He said, I know you have authority. The centurion says at one point, if I tell my men to do this, they do that. And he knew that Jesus had all power and all authority. So Jesus could just speak to someone, and then that someone could come out to the centurion, and then they could see a healing take place in his house through the words and the works of someone else. Jesus was able to use uh, emissaries, if you would, and the centurion realized how that worked. So you know what? Maybe you're the, to be the one that is to be the one to bring a message between uh, Christ and someone else. You say, oh, I'm not called to be a prophet. Look, we're talking about words of knowledge, and we talk sometimes about words of discernment and the, the vocal gifts, we call them. But a lot of times what you can bring to someone is a good word and a good season. You can bring to them scripture and say, look, you know, I was reading this, and I thought about you. You know, I would love to, I think, I think this could speak into your situation. So I want you to be open to that, open to the times whenever you're going to be the one to be able to give a message to someone, something that you've seen in the Word of God to deliver to them. And also, you should be open to when someone comes to you and say, you know what, I know what you're going through. And I think that what I see here is an answer in Christ, and we know that Christ and His Word are all sufficient and fully sufficient. So I think we need to be open to those things. And you know what? A lot of times that can even happen in church. I've got to say, you know what? God gives things to your pastor to be able to deliver to you. And if you're not in church, you can't hear those words. You need to be there. You know what? We say, well, I don't need to go to church. Well, you know what? Maybe somebody else needs you to go to church. Maybe they need you to be the one to be able to, 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 to speak into their situation. Don't just think about ourselves. Think about others. Maybe others need you to go to church. Look, I hope y'all are enjoying these readings. And in the comments, I want to see what are y'all getting out of these readings? What are the things that y'all are seeing, maybe in a slightly different perspective than you were before? Let's go to prayer this morning. Father God, I pray even today that you speak to us through your word. But Father God, if you choose to speak to us through someone else, Lord God, we're open to that. And Father God, we are open today for your word and your command. If you have something that we need to bring to someone else, Father God, in your name, I pray that you would do that as well that we would be found willing and able, Lord God, to be able to be emissaries of your word, to be messengers, Lord God, to be your angels, as it were. Father God, I pray for boldness and power into all of those that are in the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, all these things we're focusing on these past few months and months to come are on being strong evangelists, on being bringers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Look, you know God loves you. I hope you know by now that I love you. And Let's go out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well, all right? Y'all have a great, wonderful, and blessed day.